Welcome to my Social Studies Philosophy by Kendall Smiled. Social studies was always a subject when growing up that I had little to no interest in. However, after completing my first year of teacher's college, I have really opened my eyes to how important social studies can be to a student's education. Through social studies, students will learn transferable skills, which can be applied in many different contexts to examine information critically, assess the significance of events, to develop an understanding and respect for different points of view, and to reach supportable conclusions and propose solutions to problems. As a teacher, my first starting point that I always go to is the Ontario Curriculum. This document has answers to so many questions that I've had as a student teacher. The curriculum states the goals and visions that we as teachers have for our students. The vision in summary states that though through social studies, students will become responsible, active citizens within their communities. They will be critical and informed citizens who value an inclusive society and that they will have the skills to problem solve and communicate their ideas about events and issues. The curriculum also sets goals that it hopes students achieve by the end of grade 6. This states that students can use concepts of disciplinary thinking to solve issues and events. Students can determine and apply appropriate criteria to evaluate information that they can develop skills and personal attributes for discipline-specific inquiry, they can work collaboratively with others, and that they use appropriate technology to gather, analyze information to solve problems and communicate. It is important to see how the goals and visions work together and how they have a key role in a student's education. As we can see from the diagram, when students work towards the vision and goals set forward for them, they are able to formulate big ideas and ask questions. Students are then able to achieve the overall and specific expectations set out for them by the curriculum, thus making them responsible, active citizens as the model shows. For this assignment, I have decided to focus on the Grade 2 curriculum for Heritage and Identity, Changing Families and Community Traditions. One thing that I believe is important in social studies is that as a future teacher, I would want to do is implement inquiry-based learning into my classroom. The inquiry process in social studies is based on the model shown. The main goal of the model is for students to reflect on their work throughout the process. The thing to keep in mind though is the inquiry process is that there is no right answer. There are five parts to the inquiry process formulating questions, gathering and organizing information, interpreting and analyzing that information, evaluate and draw conclusions, and lastly, to communicate the findings. In social studies class, I think it is important to emphasize the part of the inquiry process that is formulating questions. Social studies is an exploratory subject. There are a lot of concepts and topics that are going to be new to students. Furthermore, in relation to a grade 2 unit that I selected, it is about being open to new family traditions and family dynamics that are different from your own. With that said, as a teacher, I believe that it is important for students to formulate questions. This is one of the best ways for students to learn, and it is really important for students to learn from their peers. However, I believe that all parts of the inquiry process are important to have within your classroom. All of the parts of the inquiry process promote growth and learning and within the classroom. As a future teacher, this has always been something that I want my students to be able to achieve. The inquiry processes forces students to think for themselves. It teaches them how to problem solve and draw conclusions. In the unit that I have chosen, the inquiry process can be applied in many different ways. One example I can think of is to help students learn about different cultures. I actually saw this done in my placement and I loved the idea when I saw it. Students were to choose a family tradition that they love. They were to interview with the families, members, and the parents to learn more about the tradition. The questions they were asking were formulated as a class prior to the interview. After, students brought this back to their class and made a poster containing all the information they had gathered in the interview. They were also able to include fun facts, which, if they needed more information on, they could research. Students then presented their findings to the class on their favorite traditions. This was a great way for students to learn about new traditions from their classmates. This is an example of an inquiry project related to heritage and identity, changing family and community traditions for grade 2. 
Another thing I find important when teaching social studies is how your classroom is set up. The format of your classroom can set the tone for how your lesson will play out. I would start by doing the seating of my class in groups. I really like groups, but for social studies specifically, I think it's best for your class to be in groups because this helps to promote the inquiry-based process that we already talked about. Another thing that I like about the social studies classroom that I designed is that there is a kidney table at the back of the class. As a teacher, I find that having a table at the back of your classroom is really beneficial. This is a place where students can work together or the teacher can pull students aside to work one-on-one -on -one with or in a group. This is something that I learned through my placement. This can also be useful in the inquiry process as students can use it as a place to work with their group. The teacher might also use it during the inquiry process as a place to conference with students, ask questions, and assist them with their project. As a teacher, I would also use the station for students who might need additional help with the social studies projects. Using this table, I can bring these students together and work with them in order to help them all at once in completing their project. Lastly, I want to have a lot of shelves within my social studies classroom. The first set would be along the wall, and these would be filled with books for the students to use. Some might use them to read, or others might use them as research. With that said, I would always try to keep the books up to date with the topics that we are learning about in social studies. This will be useful to my students to allow them to broaden their research and to learn more about the topics that we are talking about in class. I would also want to have shelves around my desk. On these shelves, I would keep personal resources that will help my students grow within the classroom and in social studies. I would also keep the curriculum on these shelves, which will be helpful when planning my lessons and units. The last thing I see doing as a social studies teacher is integrating social studies whenever I can into my curriculum. Social studies is a subject that has a lot of cross-curriculars. For example, in our social studies presentation this semester, we used health and physical education as a cross-curricular in our activity. This is something I would want to do as a social studies teacher as I think it is important and beneficial to students to have cross-curriculars in your classroom whenever you can. In regards to the grade 2 unit that I chose, the cross-curricular I can see being implemented is graphs. This unit, students will be using graphs to extract information from bar graphs. This relates to the math curriculum as students learn about different graphs, including bar graphs. I truly believe that the curriculums can be implemented into social st studies no matter what the subjects. As you have already seen, I was able to implement physical education into social studies curriculum. Depending on the project, I could also see implementing the arts into the social studies as well. For example, as mentioned earlier in the inquiry project, students were making a poster based on their family traditions. This can relate to the arts curriculum as students would have to illustrate the drawings on the poster. Lastly, as always, language arts plays a huge role in the subject. Whether students are writing or reading the materials they are utilizing the language arts curriculum.